I'm sure you get frustrated when you see one score on one site or with one lender and you go and you pull your credit with another lender or site and you see something totally different. I'm talking about 200 points, 50 points, 100 points, whatever. It's totally different. You're like, what the heck? What is my real score? Well, here's the deal. There's no universal scoring system. So each lender, each creditor, each site is going to use a different algorithm and a different model. So it's the same thing that, yeah, Apples and oranges are both fruits, but you can't compare them against each other because they're totally different in texture, taste, name, consistency, all that, right? So if you start with Identity IQ and you pull another report with Identity IQ, that's fine because you can see the progress or lack of progress sometimes that you've made versus trying to pull your credit report with first with Identity IQ, then going to a dealership and wondering why it's so different, okay? We have all these different models, we have all these different algorithms, we have different years within models, okay? So it's it's a thing of understanding scores, and I don't expect you to go out and get certified with scores just to understand how it works, but the one thing that you wanna keep in mind is that each model is going to tell you whether you're poor, deficient, good, great, average, that should remain the same no matter where you go and check. So yes, it's super frustrating to have to see a 550 over here and a 725 over there because you're like, what the heck? But remember, we should not be comparing different reports that we've gotten if they have a different model, okay? Don't compare a FICO to a plus score to a FACO score versus Vantage or, you know, whatever, okay? So always keep that in mind. Now, what you want to do, no matter where you're pulling your report, is try to get from deficient to poor to fair. Go from great to excellent, go from good to great. That is what you should be working on because you can't control what a lender uses to pull your credit, but you can control what most of the time is on your credit report and how you are handling it, okay? Now, if this is a thing where you just don't know how to get your credit score up, how to increase your credit score, or even how to do a credit sweep, then that is what I'm here to help you with and I have hundreds of videos or I can do it for you and increase your credit score without you having to lift a finger because I do all the heavy lifting for you, okay? Or you can, like I said, check out all of my videos going back to the summer of 2016 and learn how to do this the right way using factual-based disputes. Now, just a quick thing. Why do we want to use factual-based disputes? Well, they are already reporting this information on your credit report and it's the evidence that we need to use to support our arguments to get our results, right? Why are we gonna come up with stuff or use laws that have nothing to do with what we're disputing? It makes no sense, it makes no sense. It's the same thing as an attorney going to court trying to just pull stuff out of the air when he's got the, he or she has the evidence right in front of them that they can use and turn and twist to persuade the judge, the jury, or the DA, okay? This is no different. Work with what you got. That's what it's there for, okay? So if you wanna learn how to do factual based disputes and you, you, know, you don't really wanna invest a lot of money, that's fine. I have free resources. Go to hub, H-U-B dot my740.com or you want to check out some of the other paid things that I have like tools and resources go to vault v-a-u-l-t dot my740.com or like I said check out any one of my videos and you can also check out if I can personally do this for you by going to my740.com schedule a call with me and I will see if I can help but for right now that was it for today on why you're seeing different scores when you go to different places. Stop going to different places. <laughs> it's really as simple as that. Be consistent with where you are pulling your credit report and it's going to make it so that you do not end up pulling out your hair, okay? So that's it. Have a great weekend and I will see you later.